since my brand new UGT items are out now, make sure to purchase them. Link is in the description to both bear hoods. They are super cute and they can match your adorable Care Bear onesies that are also out in my group store right now. Go ahead and check those items out. And anyways, enjoy the video. Bye! Hey Care Bears, it's Haley here. Welcome back to another Roblox video on my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for daily Roblox videos. And don't forget to tap the bell notifications so to know exactly when I'm posting a brand new Roblox video for you guys. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about all the things that you might have missed in the new Royal Halloween update. This is only the first part of the Royal Halloween update, not the second part with Wickery Cliffs. As you can see, I still cannot join Wickery Cliffs. I'm going to try right now to show you guys that it's just not possible. Like, I would be teleporting by now, but I'm not. So... Also, they are updating the Sunset Island map. You can see it's like purple. It's like spooky everywhere. Um, but you cannot visit that either. You just get teleported to a normal Sunset Island map most of the time. Let's go ahead and see so I can show you guys. Um, so we're loading in and it's, go it's just going to look like the normal Sunset Island map. It's not purple anywhere like it showed on the map. But yeah, so the update like with the new Halloween items in the shop and everything right now like the first part of the update is in moonlight square to go to moonlight square you need to be in a private server and you need to go to earth and then i'll show you guys exactly where to fly to from the earth spawn the screen just turned black it's loading i apologize there we go and let's go ahead and load up earth so we can fly to the moonlight square subway station so here it is right here if we fly this way and pass the ufo we go to Moonlight Square. Okay, so now that we've loaded into Moonlight Square, you can see the whole entire UI on the side here. Looks completely different. Well, not completely different, but recolored and more spooky, which is really cute. Um, so yeah, basically today I'm going to talk to you guys about everything that you might have missed in this update because there's a lot that happened in just this small first part of the update and it's pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so firstly, let's just get into the obvious first. We have a new Whimsy Witch set out by Pierce Sweetener and it's really cute. Now, there might be something you might have noticed. The sleeves are missing in this set. As you can see here, there's sleeves on the masculine and the, f the feminine version, but they're not in the Whimsy Witch um, set shop. So I'm thinking maybe you'll have to find them in a chest in Wickery Cliffs or something. I don't know. We'll see. This was just like a test release. So like you can still like visit the update on private servers, but this was a test release. I guess they needed to fix a few things after this test release came out. But here's the new set. There's also new items in the candy shop compared from previous years. For example, the ghost head is a new item. Oh, you can't see it. Um, I think this one's a little bugged. I, I don't know. But we also do have another item. We have these hothead plugs and they have a few toggles. They're cute. And then we also have a whole entire new set in the shop. We have the Steampunk Undercity Sword Belt. We can try this on right here. And there's so many toggles on the sword. And then we also have the skirt, which is really cute. I really like how simple this skirt is. It looks very good. Um, and it doesn't have to be for only this season. Like, it can be worn year-round, which I really like. Um, because they need more items that you can wear year-round that aren't seasonal um and then they have this bodice right here here's the bodice it's really cute this bow is not part of it i forgot to take that off but it looks really cute there's so many toggles on this like you can just have necklaces as the bodice like that is so crazy that's so much for one accessory so many toggles speaking of toggles you guys might already know this but the batmo heels did finally get a rework so if we go to the shop we can see that the price has increased for these heels to seventy thousand. these were like 33k before but now they're seventy thousand. so i recommend going into an older server like maybe the trading hub would be a little bit older and buy the older version of the heels for 33k so you don't have to 
spend the 70,000. You should definitely do this before the Wickery Cliffs Realm comes out tonight as this video is being posted because I think by then they'll update all the servers so we can't spend 33k on the Batmo heels anymore. So please do that guys. It's really important because you don't want to waste your diamonds when you could get it for cheaper right now. So make sure you do that. But let's go ahead and go over all the toggles that there are on these shoes. Um, I'm going to make the shoes match my current outfit if that's okay with you guys. Um, I'm just going to wear the first toggle and um let's do this and let's check out this and here are the shoes this is the like first like original toggle this is like their original form they're very cute i really do like them i wish that they added the roblox legs version to the toggles list but they did not which is very unfortunate if you go here you can see there is no roblox leg toggle um at all so that's really sad but anyways, let's go through all the other toggles. Um, so we have this one right here. This is what this one looks like. It just gets rid of the socks. And then we have this one, which gets rid of the those up here. Then we have like this, which just makes small socks. Then we have like a leggings version, which I really like how the leggings like look. I like the little like part where they're kind of rolled up at the ends because that's accurate for me since I'm so short. This one with socks. Really, it's just like a lot of very small details added. Like this is cute. I like this because they look like boots. But tell me these do not look like the opposites of track shoes. Like these kind of just look like opposites of track shoes. Um, but then also, let's go back down here. Uh, we have this version. And then we have this version. There is so many, like, we're on 18, there's 20 more, so I'm just gonna click th through them, like, I'm just gonna click through them, like, really quickly, because there's so many. You guys can definitely check out the toggles on your own time, like, you can just be barefoot. Like, what? There's so many toggles, like, I, I'm, like, why? <laughs> Alright, so not only that, but let's go ahead and check out the whole entire new set. So here is the new witch set by Pure Sweetener, and it's very cute. I wish that the sleeves were here, but they are currently not here, so this is just what it's going to have to look like for now, but it still doesn't look that bad. I do like the witch hat. It's very huge and beautiful. I love the particle effect on them as well with the leaves falling. Very cool. And there are so many toggles on these. And also the shoes are kind of hidden. So let me actually use one of the toggles on the skirt right now to show the shoes. So let's go ahead and go to wearing and press this and make this skirt shorter so you guys can see some of the heel. So here is some of the heel right here. It's really cute. They're really dark and spooky. And I do like the lacing up here. It's very cute. Um, and yeah, so those are the shoes. Um, there are other corsets as well that got toggles. Let's just remove everything so we can keep our focus on the corsets. So if we go to torso and we scroll down a bit, we can find the first corset that was reworked. And I think the first one that was reworked was the Winter Guardian one. So let's go ahead and click this. And you can see the first version so there has been a very big problem with this course that if you don't know the person who created it if you can see here was chromastasia chromastasia and they made the concept of this and then one of the developers made the you know made it come to life well i'm not sure who reworked it but someone reworked it to make it look thinner and it's not it does not look like its original type which is what you can see in this picture here this render shows a completely different body as this one and it's kind of upsetting since they did that i don't really agree with that i wish that there was a toggle to have the original version of this corset back i understand that they probably did it just so it can like blend in with heels better i really understand that but i think they needed to keep the older toggle as well there's no point in getting rid of it in my opinion but here are all these toggles that we're not, you know, told that can be added from the creator of this um, set. So I hope that they clear that up. It really is kind of wrong to do this. So I personally do not like that part of this update. They also made the um, Royal Rebel corset a little bit thinner, which I don't mind if they just had added the toggle to have the original version of the corset back. But this is the... Um, toggles. It's really cool, like, how many toggles there are, but I wish there was a way to go back to the original. They should have done that, in my opinion. 
So yeah, also the Darling Valentina bodice got a rework as well. I really wish that we could have the original version as one of the toggles as well. And a lot of people also agree with me on this, but I do think these toggles are really cute. I love the whole idea. It's all very cute, but please add like an original version toggle or something that would mean a lot to us as players we're all high so please do that now the next thing is that there is a secret item in the shop unreleased yet so if we go to accessories and search 2022 we can already see this kitten candy bag in the shop this kitten candy bag actually has toggles you can wear a cat mask you can have a cat nose and whiskers and ears and just a uh, cat nose and whiskers just the cat nose and then the whiskers and then this there's just so many different ways it's funny um but this is the original bag it's so cute there's a little gummy bear inside i love that it's very cute and it's supposed to be one of the items that are probably going to be given out in wickery cliffs i'm assuming from a chest or something so i'm very excited about this but i think that might be all that has happened in this update all, everything that's new thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope that you guys learned a few things about this update i also forgot to mention though that there are new faces new outfits new hair colors as well and i think there is a few new designs but i'm not 100 percent sure i can't really tell if you go here in designs and we go to show all designs i can't tell if these are newer i think they are but i could be wrong uh, but they are halloween themed so i'm assuming so anyways that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe for daily roblox videos and i'll see you guys soon when the wickery cliffs update comes out bye care bears